Hey guys, what's up? This is Rocky Days, and today I'll be talking about Rethink Database, Rethink DB, which is an open source database for the real time web, as you can read on this website. So, anyways, uh, what makes Rethink DB special is that it is uh, very fast, at least it claims to be so, and it can be run using several uh, languages, just like MongoDB. So, uh, and this in in this tutorial series that I'm going to start off in with this video, I'll be using Node.js, so this is only for JavaScript programming. So for others, uh, you might have to check other tutorials which might be available, or maybe I'll make them later after after completing this uh, tutorial series. So, anyways, I'll, uh, let's uh, move forward. So, uh, essentially, everything database has uh, JSON as a data set. So while uh, MongoDB works with JSON, this works with JSON. So how do you do? How do you go forward and install it? So it is pretty simple. You just click on install Rethink DB over here, and then choose the package according to your uh, operating system. So over here, it is also given what you can do if at all you have Docker or all these things. So anyways, uh, uh, mine is Windows. So uh, what I'll do is that I'll go to Windows and I'll just download the zip that is that it is providing. So once that is done. What I what I'll uh, get after unpacking will be this Rethink DB over here. It's an application .exe app, uh, application, so I can directly uh, click on it. I can just double click or run, uh, or else I can just directly go to co command prompt, and I'll traverse to the folder where it was put in, which will be. Alright, so as of now, as you can see, I have rethink db.exe. So, uh, what I'll be doing is that I'll just click on rethink db. Alright, so as you can see over here, it says that server is ready and all these blah blah stuff. So, you don't have to much uh, worry much about that. So, what you need to do is that you need to go to localhost 8080. Alright, so as you can see over here, we have it ready, just quite quick and fast. So that's how you just install uh, your server uh, directly. You can just initialize it. Uh, this is the quickest way. So over here in this admin console, you can do a lot of stuff. You have logs as well. So you can key, uh, you can go ahead and check it out. So I'll be talking about more stuff in the coming videos. This was just to set it up first, and after this, we'll be installing a few client side uh, drivers. Over here, uh, the driver that, uh, that I'll be installing would be JavaScript driver, and I'll be talking about that in the next video. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.